Well, hey, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Taurus. So we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. We're going to start with the Oracle cards here, and then we're going to get into your Tarot. This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. Taurus. Some of you guys are going to be traveling. That tried to, it tried to come out, but it didn't. All right. At the bottom of the deck, I have Clamboyant. So a lot of you guys are, wow, really, really intuitive. It says, it's time to pay attention to your visions and your insight. It says, your receptivity is becoming stronger. So this does have something to do with dealing with people, okay? So it's it's like you guys are going to be coming across a lot of people. Some of you guys are actually feeling things that may have happened to, well, I'll say like this. Some of you guys are feeling things about maybe a person you guys were dealing with in the past. You could be sitting on the couch or whatever, and you know, you feel it. You know that um, what they felt for you was real or or that they really are a-holes, okay? Like it could be one or, one or the other. Um, but here it says, you are seeing and sensing things beyond the physical senses. Okay, so this is a, a really good because you guys are going to be coming across a lot of, you know, different people and you need to know how to manage, okay? You guys have been hurt, so this is going to be very good for you. So let's go ahead. Let's see what we have. Here we have pilgrimage okay it says spirit is inviting you to make a journey so i really do feel like a lot of you guys i think i just said that didn't i say i feel like you guys were going to travel now what this really means this talks about synchronicity signs messages i don't know why like literally like this is coming out so much in your reading you guys are very um spiritual right now and you may not know why but i feel like it's the spirit is trying to get you guys to see something recognize something and for every last one of you it's going to be different. But once you guys start seeing these synchronicities, all of that, please know that change is on its way. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. Here it says, Earth, the Queen of Earth, Taurus. Oh my God, this actually came out. This represents a feminine energy, could be male or female, okay? Who can be an Earth sign. Yes. <laughs> Queen of Earth displays a trait of loyal, stability, groundedness, down to earth, and practica uh, practicality. Um, methodical, that type of thing. It says she is sensual and loves luxury. So this is kind of like the Empress card too, but this is you. So this is letting you know that you're coming out very strong in your reading, but you also know what you want. Okay. You're very grounded, but you know what you deserve. Okay. That type of queen. Think about what it said. Very grounded, loyal, stable, and that's, and you need your, your energetic match. So this is why here where it says, you know, pay attention and, and, you know, keep those intuitions high. Here, ritual. This came out before with somebody else. This just talks about um, a lot of spiritual cards with you. It just emphasizes your habits. Okay. This is how I read this card. Some of you guys are repeating bad habits, doing things over and over again. It could be certain ways how you guys eat. Um you know, uh, I don't know how to really explain it, but you guys know what I'm saying. There are some things that you are, you guys are doing over and over again that could be bad habits. You want to try to turn those bad habits into good habits, okay? Form good habits. Um, 21 days. I just think food because that's like the easiest thing, okay? But it can come down to not exercising, not getting enough sleep, that type of thing. Switch that stuff around, okay? These are just advice cards for you in everyday life, okay? And here is lust. Wow, this is your last one that came out. It says there's an energy of lust, infatuation, and risk of addiction. Isn't that interesting? Because we were talking about bad habits. Now, this could be you or your person. That's very interesting. It says possible sexual addiction. Someone that you guys are dealing with could be in this energy. It says this is an omen of a loveless exchange or could have been, right? Emotionally empty, unfulfilling outcome. Your person, I feel like it's you or your person. Some of you guys are in these. I'm so happy that last card was like, boom, because this is what you guys have really been dealing with. I mean, you guys are dealing with people who are just very out of control, a lot of passion, a lot of flame, and you may have mistaken that for love or whatever. But again, remember, energetic and energies have to match. Okay. 
this is why a lot of your cards are so spiritual because now it's about knowing what this person wants who's going to come into your life whether it's someone from the past or someone new you have to know what their intentions are Ooh, spirit hit it with that one so we're going to go ahead and get into your reading we're going to see how this is going to play out for you because at first everything was all cute and like you know and then it was like boom it hit you <laughs> with that lust card Taurus wow all right, so let's go ahead. Let's get into this reading. I'm kind of curious. I want to see what this is all about. This is for Taurus. And maybe who you guys are dealing with, okay? And that energy. Here with the Ten of Wands, exactly. You guys have been holding on to some burdens. It's been too much, okay? Here with the Five of Cups, this is disappointment. This is sadness. I also feel this being in your person's energy. They may have addictions that may be hard to break, but they may have had feelings for you. Here, I feel regret. I also see here with the Knight of Pentacles, um, you know, this could have been, this person may have been very hesitant about committing or being serious because of their issues and their problems. I do feel though, this could be someone new. It could be, it doesn't matter. Everyone is going to have new and, and old. So you guys already know that, but there's been a lot of heartache that's been taking place in this connection and in your heart. Some of you guys have not had a person in so long here. The Knight talks about that. Like, where is my person? It's taking forever for anything serious to come. And this caused a lot of heartbreak here. Let's go ahead. Let's get some more cards for Taurus. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if you had someone or not. It's basically about things are being delayed, it seems like. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who's very stubborn and egotistical for those who have just dealt with someone in the past. But this talks about taking con take control, right? Taking control over what your life regardless of what's happening um start doing things for yourself your person is coming and i know i know some of you guys may be tired of hearing that um but it's like you know a, a watch pot never boils you know so i always try to encourage you guys more so than try to just t read the cards i always try to you know encourage you guys in the meantime but i see the delay here okay so let's go ahead let's get some more here for Taurus. So here I do have the Ten of Swords. We got two tens here. A lot of endings. <laughs> Look at what came out though. Ace of Wands in the full card. Didn't I tell you? You guys have a lot of new beginnings here, Taurus. A lot of new beginnings. But I mean, like I said, it's not like you guys haven't suffered. You guys have been through a lot. A lot of delays. A lot of waiting. Um, you have love here. That's at the bottom of the deck with the lovers. Here with the Ace of Wands, like I said, there's some type of regret with sex. Now, this does talk about a new beginning with you, but I do feel like your person that you guys were dealing with may have had some type of sex addiction. They were dealing with different people. They may not have told you that. A lot of people don't tell you that. And even if it doesn't have to be an addiction, it may be a hard habit to what? Break. We just talked about that. Ritual, rituals. I cannot say it. Sorry. <laughs> a ritual. Okay. Um, habits that are hard to break. And this is what I'm saying. This is not just your energy. It doesn't have to be just you. It could be your person. But there's all this new beginning here for you. And I can't wait to see what this is all about. I see love. I actually see more excitement in your life. Let's go ahead. Let's get your last card. Rituals. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, six of cups. There we go. This is soulmate. It doesn't matter if it's a past person or soulmate. It's been delayed. Some of you guys have been waiting. You're stuck in limbo. What's happening, universe? Okay. What's happening? But there is going to be something that's going to be given to you here with the Six of Pentacles. You know, this is kind of like um, good things come to those who wait. That's what the Six of Pentacles is saying. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get the Ten of Wands for you guys. Let's get the Ten of Wands for Taurus. Ten of Wands. Oh, yeah. Just said that. Good things come to those who wait. With the three of wands, you guys have been waiting. And that's going to be the burden that you guys are going to be putting down. Told you. Page of Cups. There's a love message here. There is a there's an apology here. And for other, for some of you, if that person is new, which the Page of Cups can represent that, this person has to learn you. They got to find, know you. But you guys are waiting for it. You guys are waiting for the one. That's what you've been waiting for. Five of Cups talks about the disappointment, right? Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you guys are holding on to each other. Here you go with the star card. You guys are hoping and wishing for something and you're going to get it. There is something that you guys are definitely hoping for here. Let's get the Knight of Pentacles. Holding on to that dream. Told you, delay. Seen it twice. Hey man, hey man. Ooh, it's been taking forever. And I know a lot of you guys are frustrated. This is a lot of waiting. A lot of delay. A lot of waiting. But look at what's at the bottom. I just put the card down just because I want to straighten up. Look at what's at the bottom. Forward movement. That delay is going to be over with very soon. Very, very soon. I love it. Let's go ahead. Let's get the hangman. Yep. And some of you guys have been waiting for your the commitment, have been waiting. And this is and the thing is, you guys are losing faith. Okay. You guys are losing your faith in that. Stuck in your head. You can't get out of it. Like, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? And it is. We just saw that. But some of you guys are losing faith. I think you guys are kind of like, I just don't see. It's been too long. This person hasn't been acting right. No one is in sight. It's that type of thing. Let's get the Ten of Swords. Oof, man. It's 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 almost it's done, y'all. I'm telling you, ten of the, the world card clarifying the ten of swords talks about completion. So, but man, let me tell you, during that little cycle, look at what you've experienced. You you've experienced heartache, you've been tired, you've been worn out, you've felt you've been feeling rejected. That's what you've experienced. But this is why I'm saying it's going to be over and done with here. That's why the ace of wands is here. Brand new beginning, something exciting for you. Ace of Wands. That's right. That, there's that night. That's what you're going to be feeling when they finally get here. And there's the lovers. This is your person. And it's coming. Please do not lose faith. Okay? Let's get the full card. Full card. You guys are watching someone. Someone is watching you too, I'm feeling. Yeah, no more waiting. Look at all of this waiting. You guys have been so patient. Good Lord. Oh, good things come to those who wait. That's exactly what I'm saying because this is so much waiting here. Look at how this has been hurting you, your heart. Three of swords. Wow. Let's get these six of cups. Six of cups. Just like magic, your person is going to come in. And I'm telling you, this is transformation. Look at what happens. The chariot, getting a lot of attention from your soulmate. And like I said here, I do feel like someone from your past, for some of you are coming back. But this talks about gaining your confidence back, being able to move forward so you can meet your new person. This is what was here. Some of you guys, this is, could be someone from the past or new. You guys already know I don't care, but this is your person. We saw it throughout the reading. Someone who's going to love you. That's what you're marching towards, okay? So please keep the faith, Taurus, okay? So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I do have to let you guys know that I do have a Instagram that I want you guys to follow. Um, it is Yasmin underscore star to row. Taurus, I love you guys. I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.